I want to talk a little bit about timelines tonight. So I think if we were to talk about Aileen's timeline, we would, you know, put some major things on it, like graduations, recitals, awards, uh, the sparks of friendships that are still burning brightly. And I'd also probably put in a meeting in the most romantic city in the world, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, <laughs> where her path was ultimately changed forever when she met Seamus. To see the two of them over these past seven years has just been nothing short of amazing. I've watched them grow together, but also separately in their careers, in their faith, and watching them do these things together. There's just really something special about them, and I, I think it's quite palpable. And obviously, if you know them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All the while, they've remained so true to their families, to their faith, to themselves, and also to each other. I can't think of a better person for Aileen to start her new timeline with tonight than Seamus. You're generous, kind, compassionate, loyal. You've been a part of the family for years. Now it's just official. And Aileen, you're simply the best. I know, I know, another mic. How great is this? It's all turning out good. Mm -hmm. Weather's yeah. nice. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Look at this. Jeez. How about it? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Look, cufflinks. Perfect. Everything worked out. Second, 1989, you come bouncing into the world as this little seven pound baby girl, you know? Just seeing something very special about you and as you gradually grew up, saw her in many different ways. Then you matriculate out to Pitt and you have to go five hours west to meet somebody who's eight minutes from the house. Seamus, welcome to the family, officially. Um, although it feels like you've been around as long as me. So, <laughs> extremely loyal, funny, respectful, um, all the positives. You know, you've treated me with respect from the moment I met you. And I liked you the second I met you. Of course, I couldn't say that, you know. But just an incredible son-in-law. Who has just just been really really good for the whole family? So just remember, it's all about your faith. It's all about your family. And if one of the others missing, you really don't have a whole lot. Continue to go to church. Uh, continue to communicate. Continue to talk, and you know that the door is always open. I'll just close on one thing, 
many of you will probably remember this and where it came from. When all else fails, read the directions. the new couple. May you never want as long as you live and live as long as you want.